Today we're going to look at the various parts of the plane and let's just start at the very beginning. At the very front we have the turbine engine or sometimes it'll be a propeller so you'll either have the turbine engine or the propeller and those are located right here, the turbines. Then what we have is we're looking at the center of the plane. This whole section that we see along here is the fuselage and the fuselage is what holds the cargo, it holds the passengers, so that's the fuselage in that area right there. Of course we have the wing, this whole section, we couldn't have a plane flying without our wings, so here's our wing. Then next to our wing, let's put out our flap, and the flaps occur on the inside, and so in this section here you'll see the flap and the flap here as well. Next to the flap, we have the aileron and that's where the aileron is right over here and we have one aileron in this section and one aileron in this section. Next to the aileron we have the elevator and the elevators occur on the, we're going to add that right away, on the horizontal stabilizer. So let's just put both of the arrows down. We have the elevator right here and the horizontal stabilizer is this whole section back here as well. Okay, on the very back section we have the vertical stabilizer and on the vertical stabilizer we have a section called the rudder. We don't have it in this diagram but it would be right here. So let's just add in some arrows for that. So the whole section is the vertical stabilizer and on it we have the rudder which would be about here. Okay, then in the very front of the plane we have the cockpit and the cockpit is where you would find the pilot and the co-pilot, that's where they would be. And uh, finally just uh, the three sections that we have is pitch is happening right back here from the elevators. Remember we said we turn the elevators up, we pitch up, we turn the elevators down, we pitch down. Then we have the roll and the roll is caused by the ailerons. So if we turn the left aileron up and the right down, we would roll to the left and vice versa. And finally the yaw which moves the nose of the plane but it actually occurs right back here. So maybe I'll just move it back in this section because it occurs because of the rudder. So those are the parts of the plane and their functions.